Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover the slope of a horizontal line. We will go through two examples, one where we find the slope from a graph and one where we find the slope from two points. Let's jump into number one where we have a horizontal line graphed on the coordinate plane. Now remember, slope measures the steepness of a line, so how much a line moves up or down as it moves from left to right. Here we can see that this line isn't moving upward or downward at all, so what is the slope going to be? Well, let's find the slope of this line using these two points on the line. So we need to figure out the rise and run. Remember, the slope equals the rise over the run, the vertical change over the horizontal change. Let's start with the rise, and we're going from the left point to the right. Well, there isn't any vertical change. The line just goes straight across. So the rise is zero. Now for the run, the horizontal change, we go over one unit, two units, three units, four units to get to the other point. So our run is four. So slope equals rise over run. So our slope here for this line equals the rise of zero over the run of four. So zero over four, that's our slope. Now any fraction with a numerator of zero, so a top number of zero, equals just zero. So we can also write this as just zero. We would say that this line has a slope of zero, and that goes for any horizontal line. Any horizontal line has a slope of zero. The y values stay the same as we move across the line, and the x values increase. For this line in particular, the y value of any point is going to be two. So again, any horizontal line has a slope of zero. Let's move on to number two, where we are going to find the slope of the line from two points on the line. So we just have the coordinates, no graph here. Remember, we use the formula slope equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. y2 minus y1 gives us the rise and x2 minus x1 gives us the run. So slope equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Now let's label and plug in. So for negative 1, 3, this is going to be our first point. So x1 and y1, negative 1 is x1 and 3 is y1. Then for 5, 3, that's going to be our second point. So 5 is x2 and 3 is y2. Now we plug in. So y2 is 3 minus y1 is 3 over, and now we need x2, 5, minus x1, negative 1. And I'm putting negative 1 in parentheses there just so it's clear we are working with a negative, and it doesn't get lost next to that subtraction sign. And now we subtract. 3 minus 3 is 0, and then we have 5 minus negative 1. Now, whenever we have a subtraction problem involving integers and we have positives and negatives, it can be helpful to add the opposite. And this is one of those problems. So let's add the opposite. The opposite of negative one is positive one. So we have five plus one, that gives us six. So our slope here is zero over six. We have that numerator of zero, so we can just write this as zero. So we have a slope of zero here. That tells us we have a horizontal line. And if we look at the coordinates here, we can see that we have the same y coordinate, three and three. So there's no vertical change between these two points. So again, this is a horizontal line. So there you have it. There's the slope of any horizontal line. Any horizontal line has a slope of zero. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.